Deathblade, Sidewinder, d d d d dairy. Watch time is over. It's heist time. Velvet Thunder. by a man in a yellow sweater. And what was your question, Diaz? I wanted to know who Zengi is. Brooklyn, Brooklyn! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. This is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 8, Episode 4, Balancing. Mr. Miyagi, that's the first thing that comes into my head. Everything is about balance. Karate is about balance. If you want early access to my Brooklyn Nine-Nine reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for five dollar dues a month, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm loving getting through this series here. The episodes have been a little bit, it's a little bit disappointing. I'm enjoying the back and forth dialogue in a lot of these episodes from this season, at least, well, episode two and three so far. So there is definitely joy to be had, but everything in this universe just feels so depressing and it honest, honestly goes back to season seven as well they introduced a bunch of great characters that all had really depressing like fate after the episode that they were in and i don't know i i don't know if i'm the only one noticing that it just feels like everything kind of goes nowhere and it's a very helpless helpless hopeless kind of thing but Captain Holt, on the other hand, has been in fine form this season, but... And, and when are we going to get the Peralta Best Man Doug Judy episode? We're, we're running out. We're running out of eps. So, better give it to me. But let's jump into this one, because I want to go and finish watching every single episode of Baby Reindeer on Netflix. Reactions to that will be coming. They'll probably be up on the main channel by the time this goes public. I'm one episode in. Holy shit, let's go. But this is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 8, Episode 4, Balancing. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs, two paintings, two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis <laughs> because I solve all my crimes. Oh. That was a low blow, I feel like. That's a pretty f***ed up thing to say to me. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Um, alright, so Jake's White Whale. I remember this guy from previous seasons. I don't know what storyline he was a part of, but I definitely remember his name. So, alright Jake, let's let's wrap up these uh, loose ends, shall we? Your entire first year here, I was convinced you were Franzia, which I now realize is completely ridiculous. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> <laughs> to reimagine how uniformed officers are deployed gets funded, it will represent a significant reform for the NYPD. Alright, well I do like the sound of that, but... Franzi is out there. That he isn't pulling himself up yet, but the window for that is nine to twelve months. So the fact that he's ten months old and isn't doing it yet doesn't mean that we're bad parents. Oh, Santiago, enough, enough. So yeah, Max having um, a little trouble pulling up. But did that convince you to give us more responsibility? <laughs> I'm sorry for imposing. I assumed I'd be back with Kevin by now. Oh, a couple oh, therapy isn't going well. Holt and Rose are going to be roommates. All right. If it's only for one episode, this is funny. He told Dr. Cheryl I'm a sore loser at Scrabble. How would he know that when I win 78% of our matches? <laughs> because according to Kevin, I'm a liar. Oh, damn it. Rosa, what have you done? The shade on this one is darker. And... Uh, Jake. You know what? I trust you, Jake. There you go. <gasps> Franzia! Is this... Doug Judy, is this just a big wedding invite? No one is less competitive than me. No one. Anyway. <laughs> Austin Grant. Who's Austin Grant? Not a dud? Oh, he's a dud. But he's a hot dud. He's a hud. <laughs> um, we just need to give you some style. Check this out. Tiny Terry won the little Mr. Michigan pageant. <laughs> Mr. Michigan. <laughs> <gasps> Whoopsie. Anything important with your case? Yes. Because jokers are wild, Charles went to the Joker stairs. And now and both of them have more, like, skin in the game of their little things. Shit. None of us are scaling back. We can be good parents without sacrificing our careers. We just have to work as a team. You know what? Yes. You're right. We got 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. It's been a lice outbreak at daycare, and they're closing for the next two days. Shit! My parents are out of town, and my brother David can't help because he's in Sudan digging wells for somewhere. <laughs> That's Lynn manuel isn't it? Head itch. Yeah, it's weird. I've actually been itching myself. No. <gasps> lice! Oh my god, this is getting worse and worse. Step back from both things. I know they're important, but step back. Screaming. Okay, fine, we'll do the syrup. We're doing the syrup! Oh. <laughs> Scully is like, I smell syrup. Is that enchanting new perfume? <laughs> syrup, Scully. And it is working. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made Scully horny. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Kevin brings up how Cheddar's French comprehension has regressed. Cheddar's oh, tumor says it's because oh. we're not speaking enough at home. <laughs> You're right there, Rosa. If you know how I could just erase him from my memory, I'd love to hear it. You don't have to erase him from your memory. You could just get drunk. But you don't have to erase him. You just need to talk about something else, man. It's agreement that when I miss something important on the case, he pretends like I'm still involved. It's normal. Anyways, I'm sure our shower riddles were the same. No, I'm sure yours was better. Well, just to be sure... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Peralta. Because I was arrested in this precinct literally a year ago to the day. Here, I brought a toy for the little guy. Oh. Uh, slap your fanny. Slap, slap, slap. Your fat little fanny. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe we asked someone in the precinct? Everyone's working. Don't worry, I padded <laughs> all the sharp edges. I was gonna say, hold. <laughs> You can take a nap anywhere in here. Every surface is like a bed. Huh. Works for us. Okay. So we're leaving Scully in charge of Mac. Oh my god. You have to go. The boy will explain, but I'm still on your tail. I'm my toe real bad. Look! Oh ah! god! <laughs> How bad is it? There is one option left. <gasps> His first screen time? This is amazing! Which Transformers movie should you watch first? There's an argument to be made for Bumblebee as it is a prequel. Jake. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Good work, Mac. You didn't mention Kevin one time. No, that is an accomplishment. It appears that I did think about him at least once last night. Oh, what do you mean? At 3.30 a.m., I seem to have sent Kevin a digital phallus. <laughs> Oh, no! Cinnamon pick. Yes! <laughs> no. We're gonna blow dry these sons of bitches straight to hell. Gotta say, worked great. Although I guess my hair took it a little better than yours. <laughs> Santiago, you look fine. You look good. We don't have time for your nerd fetish. We are so late. <laughs> belongs to a guy named Eric Marsh, who works as a handyman in the victim's building. We have to bring him in. Already done. He's in interrogation right now, just waiting for you. Oh. <sighs> Boyle is being a goddamn good friend in this one again. He has his moments. He has his moments. Uh-oh. Something stinks. Something stinks real bad. Did you poop? No. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you pooped. <laughs> I'm going to take your pants off, and I'm going to wipe your little tushy. What is going on? I <laughs> You were just flirting. It's as if I've sent him a bar graph. Our bar graph's bad? It reduces robust data sets to a single point. Get your head out of your ass! Whoa, Holt. Um, maybe you need a bit more bar graph in your life. Delete it off his computer then. Yes, that could work. Kevin has virtual office hours at 2 p.m. Can you unsend at that point? Please find a picture of my penis, sincerely, Raymond Holt. Deleted. <laughs> I understand the handyman has an alibi. <laughs> Wait, is that Scully feeding Mac? Wait, what? Because he didn't bug the closet. He bugged something broad inside. Oh my God, Franzia. <gasps> oh my God. It was the cuddler. My phone, what do they want? They moved your presentation up. You're on in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? What? Oh, man. Terry, step in. And it friends you? Reform, Boyle. Reform. OK, enough. Charles is right. Jake has waited years for this. No, he can make the arrest without me. Without you, there is no pre Actually, that's a good point. Boyle can make the arrest. This is the sacrifice of parenthood, Jake. I guess. I don't have any kids, so. 
<laughs> I wouldn't know. You look good. Thanks. I know. And you have a very brave hairstyle. Thank you. Or <laughs> Style over substance is clearly out. But if anyone can substance the crap out of this, it's a yeah. Good point. Get in the weeds. Get in the details. Do your thing, Santiago. Oh. Stop walking into things. I know everything about Zengi. True. It was Diaz's question. Um, and what was your question, Diaz? <laughs> I wanted to know who Zengi is. <laughs> All right, then. Goodbye. Oh, he liked the dick pic, and he wants Holt to stay. Come on, Holt, you got this. That these sweatpants are from a bachelorette party I went to, and they say WAP on the butt. <laughs> I told them it stands for We All Police. Hey. <laughs> nice cover. Good luck. Oh, oh, what the hell? <clears throat> Everything okay? He peed himself. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. No hesitation. Good work, Terry. Funny. Same thing happened to Alex Nelson at Little Mr. Michigan. What? Terry, dude. <laughs> Crazy underground tunnels. So we have to switch over to night vision. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Feed this baby some mushed up avocado. Oh my god. Hey, he pulled up. There you go. You had your moment, Peralta. I think he was disappointed that you were there for the book and not for him. Maybe you should let him know you've been missing him. Huh. Well. Well done, Rosa. Solid good advice. Which I'm sure is just to get him the fuck out of your apartment. He's writing back. Oh, well, what did he say? It's a length of graph. It's a scatter plot with a very robust data set. <laughs> well, that is going quickly. Very sweet, in a way. Well, they just called and... You won? That's amazing! Why aren't you more excited? Why aren't you dork dancing? Because you had to miss your thing and I didn't want to rub it in. So... By the way, Amy, you missed something as well. <laughs> you got to do the work thing and I got to do the parent thing. And Franzi is in prison as well. Great. You're gonna wake up Mac and see Phil pull up, aren't you? Obviously, he is not sleeping until he does it again. So that was an okay episode. Uh, again, we didn't get much uh, like overly uh, political stuff in this. I guess Amy was trying to get police reform, but the, the episode wasn't like whacking us over the head with it. Um, but there's still kind of a dampness to this season in general and I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm hoping that whatever that feeling is, I can shake it, but I mean, I'm, I just feel sad for Holt. He's in this divorce storyline. Like, Amy and Peralta, you know, they, they got there in the end and their story is actually quite inspiring, but it was a story about sacrifice. I didn't get to do this thing that I wanted. I didn't get to be there for this moment that I wanted. Like, and that's a great message and everything like that, but it just seems like Brooklyn is just like episode after episode, like, let, like a TV show usually there's a lesson there's a learning experience or something like that this one just seems to be really heavy topics and really like depressing kind of shit so the mystery side of it in terms of who was Johnny Franzia I thought that was pretty good and I, I would have liked more of that in this episode personally I did enjoy the story with Boyle and Peralta with Boyle like getting to experience Peralta's like dream uh, case again I feel like you could have done more with that element of that story as well like i don't know I, I don't know if there's a better way to funny enough balance this episode into more of the stories that i was interested in and less of the stuff that i wasn't but the series hasn't hit that you know euphoric feeling that i would get from the earlier seasons just yet but we have to wait and see hopefully we've got doug judy showing up in this season but there's only a couple of episodes left and then it's on to what we do in the shadows which i'm very keen for and uh, if you haven't watched my reaction to baby reindeer uh that's probably gonna be completely up by now uh because i'm gonna watch maybe all of the rest of that today because <laughs> the first episode hooked me in so bad and i've had a lot of um suggestions to watch uh never stop poppin when i put up my latest lonely island video so i think it's time i think it's time to do never stop poppin so that's probably going to come up at some point after brooklyn finishes as well but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one again let me know what you're thinking about this season in general and make sure you go to patreon.com slash fwci if you want early access to my brooklyn 99 videos and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace